guys it's Adla here and today I am going to be teaching you guys how to build your very first app in this new series which I teach you guys how to code. So I'm going to be using Swift 4 and Xcode 10.1. What you will need for this project is a Mac and Xcode 10.1 which you can download off of the App Store directly from the Mac. So we're going to be building a Hello World app. With the Hello World app it's a really simple app that gets you started onto a journey which can really take you everywhere. So, let me show you what we're going to be doing in this app. So, let me launch the simulator, and here. What is your name? And my name is... Now press me. And then it says, Hiya, the thou. That's really it, and it may seem really simple, but it's what you need to get yourself started, and to teach yourself a little bit of what Xcode does, and a little bit of the basics of Swift. So let's get into Xcode and see what we can do. Okay, so let's get right into building our app. What you need is Xcode 10.1, which you can download off the Mac App Store. So once you have that installed, let's get straight into building it. So let's open Xcode and let's create a new project. Let's call this a single view app and let's name it first app. So, the organization name is should be your name and the organization identifier should be com.yourName. Let's use Swift, not Objective-C. And then, let's uncheck core data, include unit test, and include UI test. We don't need that right now. Let's select next. Select where you want to save it. And make sure it create git repository on Mac is selected. That just means it's saving it periodically and create. So now we have our first app. So let's go into the main.storyboard. So what is the main.storyboard? Well, the storyboard is where you design the app and what it's going to look like for the viewer. So as you guys can see, we have a view controller. This is what the viewer is going to see. So let's start designing the app. So we need a label first. So let's input a label. All you have to do to get one of these is you have to click this up here or it should be down here. It really depends. So label and all you have to do is drag it and drop it into your project. So let's click the button again and then let's select text field. Next let's click this and let's select um, a button. So here's a little challenge. Let's see by doing these two if you guys can get the button in by yourself. Okay, great. So if you got the button, all you have to do is drag and drop. That's it. Okay, so what should our label say first? Our label should say, please Type your name in the field below. So we just drag that and set it right there. And then our text field itself, let's extend the edges just in case their name is really long. Now over here, let's click the newspaper or this. So um, the little arrow thingy. So let's make it say, type your name here. Not there. Let's actually put that in the placeholder text. So that's where it'll be. And our button should say, press me when finish. Great. So now we have all of our elements inputted. So now it's time for the coding part. So first, let's simplify this. So let's close this, and we can close that. We can also close this. So now all we have is this, and let's select this. So if you select the two circles in the top, you should be getting this view. So now let's go. We should have import UI kit class view controller which means that this 
is a view controller. So this controls what we see on the view, essentially. So let's create a lot of space here. So let's attach the label, the text field, and the button into our code. So let's select the label and click control drag. So once again, that's control drag. Now let's label this just label and then connect. So that's really it to connect the label. Control um, your name connect or you name. That's what I named it. And press me when finished. So here. So this should be button. And before you hit connect, make sure to change this to an action. So this means that when you press this, something else will happen. And type any and event touch up inside, which means we're that just touching it up. We're pressing it inside of our class, which is the view controller. Connect. So now, as you can see, this is a function. So what is a function? Well, a function is something that you do, or a set of events that happens once this is pressed. So now all we have to do is label dot text should be equal to and then when we put those two we claim that this is a string so what is a string well a string is a set of text that it can read so the label understands the words of string so we're just gonna put hi comma space and then, so those are the words, and then plus uname.text. And then after that, we want to hit exclamation point. There. That should be it. So let's see if this works. So let's hit play up here. So our, um, our label button and field is not going to be aligned to the iPhone XR. It's because we have to add constraints, but that's for a different tutorial. So let's just let it load for a second. And here we are. So please type your name in the field below. Let's type our name here. My name is Adhita. And press me when finished. Hi Adhita. So there we go. We just created our first app. Congratulations. So this is your very first Hello World app, and I really hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. I'll be sure to answer it. And yeah, if you guys want to see another tutorial which dives in a little bit deeper and creates a different type of app, please leave that in the comment section below if you guys have any suggestions. And yeah, that is really it. Thank you guys so much for watching. All we really did in this was we wrote one line of code, and the rest was... Not too much. So coding is really simple and really easy. Once you get the hang of it, you guys will get it. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.